Gun and the complimentary breakfast. Apologies in advance. Listen with us this morning. It's a great pleasure to see him, Jason Goliath. Oh, we mm. like it. Let me ask you this. All right. Now, now we all heard about this new bill. <laughs> Could jail guys like you for 10 years. Now, listen to this. Now, the bill proposes hefty fines and a maximum 10-year jail term for anyone convicted of showing prejudice, bias, and intolerance on the basis of race, gender, or sex, including intersex, as well as, listen to this, ethnic or social origin. Yeah. So I can't talk about Randfontein anymore. Yeah, you can't talk about <laughs> courts and chavines. Yeah. Mm. Color, yeah. sexual orientation, religion, belief, culture, language, birth, disability, HIV status, nationality. I, talk, I can't talk about the Greeks anymore. No. <laughs> Gender identity, albinism, and listen to this, occupation. I just love that. I think there's a first act where albinism is actually brought in. I'm very happy for albinos in South Africa. <laughs> well done, guys. You have arrived. You have arrived. I know that you're in the shade now because the sun is out, but you have arrived. <laughs> you have arrived. So let me let me tell you what. What the hell? The mics are on. I'll give you one more shot before the bill gets passed. To I, do your thing. Firstly, can I can I just say, can I just say, and this is, you must understand that the reason I'm in studio and not Donovan Goliath is because Donovan is not scared of jail. You see, Donovan's body is, is conducive to going to jail. I'm a very fat guy. You see, oh. in, in jail, I will be a buffet, guys. <laughs> Eight men will chow me at the same time. I've got folds in places. Have you seen the back of my head? There's a roll in the back of my head. I cannot go. So, so you must understand that as, as a comedian, guys, I will, I will end up working at, at, at McDonald's flipping burgers. I will not be able to write another joke because jail is the only thing that truly scares me. So, so there already... <laughs> Because I've spoken about fat people, then now, fat people, I'm very sorry for all of us, but you know we are cute and you know summer's not our season, so we're all suffering <laughs> together, okay? But there already, there already there's a problem. But my, my, whole, my, whole issue, my whole issue is this, is this, okay? My issue with the act is I understand that we don't want to be kind of disguising uh, uh, hate speech uh, under the auspices of, of freedom of speech. I, I, don't, I don't like that. But I'm going, when you have a bull, where do you draw the line? And, 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 and at what point do we go, now we're not South Africans anymore, we are exactly the same like everywhere else in the world. Because I always say like, for me, South Africa, the reason that we are lovely is you go anywhere, go to New York, go to London, go to Paris, you'll see diversity, mixed races, mixed faces, different ethnic groups, everybody living together. But for me, they're like a, like a vegetable aisle at a supermarket where you've got all the colors, but they're all separately packed. Yeah. Mm. South yeah. Africa, we've got all those colors, but we're all in a poiki pot. We need each other to make the thing delicious. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we're all together and it's our tolerance and understanding and love and respect and the fact that we laugh at each other. When I see an Indian woman, I know she can cook. I always go... Ma'am, I know you've got an Ilachi in your bag. Do you know that Indian, Indian woman can make a Priyani with leftovers from any meal, man? From any, from any meal. Now I'm saying, if I say that, am I now being prejudiced towards Indian people by simply assuming that she's got spices in a bag? Because my mom, a colored mom, carries toothpicks in a bag because she's got false teeth and you know we have problems, okay? <laughs> Indian ladies, now you've got Ilachi and garam masala in the bag just in case you go to a restaurant and the food is a little bit bland. No, don't worry, my boy. I sort it. I sort it out. So, so at, at, at what point do we, now, do we now draw the line? Do we stop laughing at each other? Do we stop enjoying the differences between each other between each other's cultures oh. and from a comedy point of view we all stand together no. we don't allow no. prejudice now I'm, I'm so glad you're here because I see we're going to have a hell of a fun yeah, morning with you yeah. good luck good luck to us <laughs> <laughs> Jason Goliath the Bios Rian and the complimentary breakfast apologies in advance Jacaranda FM